Hello boys and girls and welcome to the Irene W. Pennington Planetarium at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. Today we're in the solar system gallery and we're going to talk a little bit about our closest neighbor in space called the moon. And how are we going to do it? We're going to use Oreo cookies to create the phases of our moon. But before we do that boys and girls, let's talk a little bit about our closest neighbor in space called the moon. Now, as we take a look at the moon, we'll find that the moon is an object that orbits a planet. Oh, question, what is the name of our planet? Oh, oh, did you say planet Earth? Yes, our planet's name is Earth. The planet Earth only has one moon, and we call it moon. You see, our planet Earth orbits the sun, and the moon orbits the planet Earth. The moon is the biggest and brightest object in our night sky at night. I have a question for you again. Does the moon produce its own light? Oh, think for a second. Not at all. You see, the moon shines because it reflects the sun's light. Have you noticed that when you look at the moon, it appears to have various shapes each night? Well, the moon's shape really does not change. It only appears that way. The amount of the moon that we see as we look from Earth changes in a cycle that repeats itself once a month, about every 29.5 days. You see, the relative position of the sun, Earth, and moon causes these changes known as our phases of the moon. Now remember, boys and girls, we always see the same side of the moon from Earth. If you'd like to see the other side, you would have to travel into space. Let's take a quick look at our moon as it goes through its phases over the course of one month. As you know, the moon has eight named phases. Let's begin by taking a look at the first phase of our moon. The moon begins its cycle in what we call new moon, when we can't see any moon at all. It's always invisible. The moon is located at this time between the Earth and the sun. The next phase is called a waxing crescent. The sunlight portion facing Earth grows in size. Ha, this is when it sort of looks like a banana. Then we'll have our first quarter moon. Half of the sunlit portion can be seen. Ah, this is when it looks like a half-eaten pizza. Then we go to that phase by the name of waxing gibbous. At this time, three quarters of the moon is lit. Last but not least, we'll get to that phase that's called moon. The entire sunlit portion of the moon can be seen. It looks like a big huge basketball to me in the sky. And then after a full moon, the moon begins to wane and it's called a waning gibbous. The sunlit side of the moon facing earth becomes smaller. Then we'll have that phase by the name of last quarter. Half of the sunlit portion can be seen. And finally, we'll have that phase by the name of waning crescent. Less than half of the Earth facing side of the moon is lit. And then we start all over again in that phase by the name of new moon. Now we're gonna create our phases of the moon with Oreo cookies. The supplies needed for today include the following. Oreo cookies, a paper plate, popsicle sticks, a napkin, a round circle from the store that I purchased. This is actually what you put a cake on, like a wedding cake. I purchased this from the party store, all right? And what I used, I went on the website and I downloaded a few moon phase flashcards and I attached them to the various, where the various phases of the moon are gonna take place. Now, what you're also going to need for this activity is going to be your NASA placemat. If you download this activity from our website, you're gonna notice that it's gonna be an activity attached and it's gonna have a NASA Phases of the Moon placemat. So you can use this as well. If you use the NASA Phases of the Moon placemat, it's only gonna take you through the four basic phases of the moon. Let's take a look. This is what they do with the NASA placemat. They only focus on the new moon, the first quarter moon, the full moon, and the last or third quarter moon. But today when we do our phases of the moon, we're gonna do all eight phases of the moon. Let's get started. All right, now remember I told you what you're gonna need to create your activity today. 
some Oreo cookies. So the first thing I'm going to do is you're going to open your pack of Oreo cookies and you're going to select eight cookies because there are eight phases of the moon, right? Well, I changed my mind. How about I'm gonna take out four cookies, all right? And then I'll take out eight on the next try. So I'm gonna take my four cookies and I'm gonna place them onto my plate. So it's real easy to make a new moon and a full moon because if you can break your cookie apart ever so gently, you will find, let's see, I did it. Take a look. You'll have a full moon and a new moon. And you can just simply take your popsicle stick to shave away some of the cream as much as you can. Or if you want to, you can lick that cream away. It's totally up to you, but I won't do that. I'm just gonna scrape it with the popsicle stick. And I have a full moon, that's good. And I have a new moon. Now let's do a first quarter and last quarter moon. I'm gonna simply just hope that when I separate my cookie, that it's gonna all be white on one side. <gasps> Almost close. So now all I have to do is take my popsicle stick and separate it in the center here and simply scrape away this side. And scrape away as much as you possibly can. You may not get it all off. It does not have to be perfect, okay? All right, and so then we've got a last quarter moon because I went on that side. Now let me get another cookie. And this time, I will take the other side off. Ooh, that cream looks so good and it smells so good. All right. And now I have my first quarter moon. And there you have it, guys. There's our moon phases with our Oreo cookies here with the first four phases of our moon that we can talk about, just the basic phases. Okay, but now let's do all eight phases, all right? Now, let's continue to create phases of the moon, but this time we're gonna create all eight phases using our Oreo cookies. So, with that in mind, we are going to need eight cookies. So, I'm gonna count out eight cookies. I have four here, and I should have four more in here. And there we have eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and I have four and four. So now I have eight cookies. I might have more than eight. Let me double check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a little greedy there. They smell so good, boys and girls. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up my first cookie and I'm trying to create that phase called new moon when I can't see any moon at all. All right, let me break it apart. Let's see how lucky I get. Oh, oh, I've got a little bit going on there, but you know what? I'm gonna hold on to this cookie. I'm gonna take this side and put it over here. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and I'm just gonna shave away this cream. And if I take it all away, remember it doesn't have to go, all of it doesn't have to go away. You can leave a little cream and we've got that face called new moon. All right, now I wanna take another cookie and remember just just separate it ever so gently. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Look, 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 I have a full moon. All right, now I'm gonna take another cookie. Oh, this is getting so exciting. Let's see, okay, ooh, look, I did it, I did it, I did it. All right, so I'm just gonna take away a little cream here, just a little, just a little, just a little, and I'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to have my first quarter moon, all right? Now, I'm kind of skipping around a little bit because I'm doing it according to what I get here. Took those two cookies apart, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to create a waxing crescent, all right? Now, let's see if I can do it. Now, if you notice, the light is coming in here on the right, and I'm gonna try to make a little crescent here. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a little crescent. There's my crescent, and I'm gonna scrape it away. Scrape the cream away. All right. All right, I'm gonna scrape it away. Now remember, you may not be able to scrape it all away. Take away as much as you can, all right? All right, so now we've got our waxing crescent. All right, now I wanna do a waxing gibbous.
Let's see if I have a, if I could create a waxing gibbous. Now waxing gibbous almost looks close to a full moon. And I'll just, perfect, this is perfect to make a waxing gibbous. So what I wanna do is, I just wanna go ahead and take a little bit off of my side, right over here, just a little, just a little bit. Just take it away. And then I'll have my waxing gibbous. All right, now we already have our full moon down there. Now we're on our way to a waning gibbous. So this time I'll take it apart and look very closely at your cards, if you have the cards. Because now, remember, the light is on this side, so I wanna just take a portion of this off, and it'll come off real easy for you right there. All right, and there we have it, okay. Now we're over to our last quarter. All right, last quarter, ooh, I'm hitting the jack. Hot here let's see now what do I want to do this time I'm gonna take my cream away from this side and go oops I broke my cookie boys and girls let me get another cookie okay let's see if I'm gonna let's see oh there it is it happened for me again so now I'm just gonna take the other side here and I'm gonna take it away all right and then I have a last quarter. And then I'm on my way to a what? The last thing is gonna be a waning crescent. So for my waning crescent, let's see if I can separate my cookie. Let's see if it'll separate for me. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it did it, perfect. So now I'm gonna try to make a crescent again. My crescent this time, the light is on this side. So let's see how good Miss Chandra is. I'm not sure she's so good with that crescent there, but I'm gonna do my best. Remember boys and girls, it does not have to be perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's see here, let's scrape some of that away. That's not looking like a crescent to me, boys and girls. Let me see if I could, let me do another one. That one's not looking like a crescent. Let me see if I can find another cookie down here. Okay, I think I found what I might be looking for here. <gasps> look, I'm in luck, look. So I just have to take a little bit away and I'll have a crescent moon here. And let me just pull it back. There we go. There's my crescent, boys and girls. All right. Okay. That's the best I can do with my crescent. And there's a waning crescent. Now I'll grab a napkin and wipe the cream from my hands. And now you have your Oreo cookie moon phases. Dip them in some vanilla ice cream or have a little milk if you'd like. And now you can eat your phases of the moon. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you guys enjoyed creating your moon bases today with Oreo cookies. We want you to come back next week and see what delicious astronomy treat we're going to make. Well, I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.